Hi everybody, Candace here with Green Roof Farms DIY and today I am going to start from scratch and make a sewing machine caddy. I think that's what they're called. And what it is, is right underneath the sewing machine right there, it's gonna be a little organizer that holds your notions and cute little tools and stuff. And so I'm going to start with, I printed this fabric um, at an online company that I designed um, my fabric to have print. And I wanted like a black on a dark gray and I thought it would look really cool and it, it didn't look cool at all because it just came out black on black. So I kind of have this fabric that I just spent quite a bit of money on and didn't want to throw away. So I'm going to use this as the backing because I can kind of see all of my characters that I designed. So the bear, the elk and um, the wolf and all that. So that's going to be on the back side. Um, and my lining. So I'm just basically going to see the back side of the fabric on the back side, which is totally cool with me. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is right over here, I'm going to use my sewing machine fabric. And then I think for the binding, I'm going to try and use this cute little uh, ruler fabric because it actually does measure in inches on it. So I thought that would be kind of neat if I can get that part to work. So the first thing that I do is I come over here, I pick up my pen, and I just start sketching in my sketchbook, kind of what I want to do. I just make sure it sounds right on paper, and then I start to do the sewing process. So I'm going to go ahead right now and fill that blank page up with some basic measurements that I need. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the width. I'm going to sit down in my machine table, and I'm going to measure the drop and make sure how far am I working with for it to hang over so it doesn't hit my legs. All right, I'll be right back in a second and show you what I come up with. All right, I think I have what I want to do now. What I want to do is create something that the machine can sit on. And see that machine right there? I go to Quality Sewing in Mount Vernon, and Stephanie, the manager, was very sweet to let me have a loaner machine because my machine's in for service right now. So thank you, Stephanie, for letting me borrow this machine to do this video and complete this project. So I'm gonna go ahead and do um, 22 inches across, and I'm gonna have it hang down four inches, and I'm gonna have pockets in it. And then I'm gonna have it go underneath the machine so the machine will sit on it, and that will allow it to not fall down to the ground. And so I'm gonna make my total um, caddy, it's going to be 18 inches long one direction, and then 22 inches the other direction. Um, as my finished size and so now I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting my fabric and I will take pictures as I go to show you um, how we get through this and at each point I'll just explain the different phases we're in. All right so now I'm going to work on the pocket piece right now and so for that I really want to focus on this ruler piece right here because the rest of them you know this one just the way it looks, it looks like it starts here, then it comes back with 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and it just kind of, none of them really repeat in a, a 1 through 12 like this one tends to do. And these actually are as close to an inch um, as they need to be. So they're pretty spot on for an inch. So I feel like just for the visual aspect, this will be really cool. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I have a piece of 100% um, cotton batting and I'm going to find, you know, kind of how I want to sew this together and I want it to be a little bit thicker because I want to put my needles in it. So I just fold it in half, just like this. I'm going to take it over to my sewing machine. I'm going to do a top stitch right along the top of the ruler. I'm going to do maybe another one right there and so that's going to give it kind of like a stitch in the ditch look and I may continue down with each of the rulers so it looks like I quilted this together and then that's going to be the front pocket that I use um, on the front of my caddy. So I'm going to take it over to my machine and I'm going to go ahead and stitch that. All right I went ahead and I stitched this piece and you'll notice I went ahead and stitched in the ditch um, all the way down to kind of give it a little bit of dimension um, and it allows my layers to be put together. 
So all I'm going to do is just trim it real quick. I'm going to trim off most of the, the fabric that I don't need. So this is going to be my outside pocket. So now it's time to start working on the main piece of this sewing caddy and I will be right back once I get my pieces of fabric cut out. Remember earlier when I was talking about it, my dimensions, I wanna have 14 by 22, so I'm gonna cut something, you know, that's gonna be, I'm still trying to in my head decide how I wanna put this together. Do I wanna sew it all inside out and then flip it? Or um, if I wanna do maybe a bindingless, you know, blanket type technique with it, or do I actually wanna put bias trim around it like a quilt? So still kind of wrapping my head through it and I guess the minute I go to cut the fabric will inform me on which way I'm going to take this project but right now I'm going to start working on the actual mat that I'm going to attach this pocket to. All right so I went in head and figured out kind of what I want for the size and what I did is I cut out a piece of fabric I put it over at my machine I verified Yep, it fits the area that I want to do it in. And for my piece, it's going to be 24 inches long by 18 and a half inches long, um, tall by wide. And I know that um, I wanted it 22 inches. I'm gonna have a little bit of a seam allowance here. But I'm gonna sew this kind of like I would a reading pocket pillow, I guess, or you know, other things where I'm going to just sew it all in a sandwich and then leave a turning hole and then flip it back around. So knowing that, um, I know that I'm going to need, um, when it's all done and said, these two pieces are going to be, let's see how I want to do this, it's going to trying to think how how it's going to flip. It needs to look like this when it's done. So I'm going to put this piece down and then I know I need to have this piece go face down. So when it all flips around then this piece will be facing out. Okay, so that will be facing out. This will be facing out the other way and then my um, stuffing or my batting is going to be in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and just line this up to make sure all my edges are covered by this piece of fabric that I kind of did wrong. And then the last piece I'm going to do is put my batting down. And then I'm going to trim it. and then I'm going to sew it. And I'm gonna leave a turning hole. And then I'm gonna go through and I'm going to do a faux binding by doing a stitch around the corners once I get done with that piece. All right, so I went ahead and I made my sandwich and I left a little turning hole right here. So the way I did it is I put my fabric face up, my pocket facing out, my backing fabric face down and I put my staple, my uh, batting on the top. I went ahead and pinned it and now I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to do a half inch seam allowance all the way around and then I'm going to trim back that batting so it's not so um, thick, but some of that thickness will help with that faux binding that I'm going to do. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take this over to the sewing machine and just stitch all the way around and at the turning hole, I'm going to leave that turning hole. All right, I got it all sewn all the way around. So now we're gonna just basically open it up and um, start pulling it through. But before I do that, I'm just going to just take off a little bit of the bulk in the corners, which will make it turn just a little bit easier. I'm not cutting any of my stitches, um, but it just helps with, with turning, I found. So I'm just gonna go in here I'm going to grab it. I'm just going to start pulling it through, kind of like you would do when you're making a pillow. And then I'm going to push out my um, corners. So you just push out those corners. like 
that. And so I'm going to go around. I'm going to continue to push them out. And then this is going to be um, stitched with little tiny pockets once I get it all pushed out and nice and flat. So I'm going to go ahead and push out my corners and I'm going to iron it flat. All right, so now I have it all flipped around and I'm ready to go ahead and take this pocket and kind of figure out where I want to put my my stitches so that way it functions as a pocket. Nice thing about quilting this and giving it a little bit of thickness is you can also take your pins and you can use it as you're sewing to put your pins on um, so that way you have somewhere nice to keep them and you can also even put I guess your sewing needles on it too if you have special sewing needles uh, since it would be actually you know going into this this padding if you do it super thick like I did. All right, so here's my turning hole up here. It's all pressed nice and closed. The back side is just kind of how I wanted it. You know, I wanted to use up this fabric that didn't print right. Um, I do make my own fabrics and my own fabric designs. And so part of the process is you, you know, have to be creative and sometimes it doesn't turn out the way you want it, but I actually like the way this looks on the back side. But um, it's a really good back lining fabric, so I'm able to continue to use it. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just top stitch all the way around, creating kind of like a faux binding. My machine's gonna sit right here, so the bulk of my weight of my machine's gonna hold this, and this is going to drape down. So I just need to put a couple straight stitches right here to hold these pockets. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take it over to the sewing machine and finish this up. All right, I went ahead and sewed it all the way around little bit of trim around you could always do um, you know make your sandwich and have a raw edge and then do your your uh, quilt binding type approach but this worked for me um, just to turn around we got these little pockets that go through here and then if I was using a needle and I was sewing a lot and I was taking these out I would just go as I go just like that and put them right here in this because this is all quilted it's very thick so all right, I'm going to go ahead and stick it under the machine and show you guys what it looks like. All right, so I have it under the machine. It looks beautiful and it's functional and it has these great little pockets. So that way I can put notions down inside there and I can also put my pins on it as I go. Thanks so much for being a part of the Facebook group for Greener Farms DIY Facebook group channel. And thanks for watching the YouTube channel. Once again, thanks to Stephanie at Quality Sewing in Mount Vernon, Washington for loaning us the Dreamweaver so we can go ahead and demonstrate how to make this cute little sewing machine caddy. Hope you all had a great day watching this and look forward to seeing what you make with thread. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.